Hi, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are the Future Forecasting Group. My name is Sean Mahoney and I'm here with Daz, Derek, Dick, Edward, and Naeem. We've got our rock star team of viewers here and we're going to be going over a really interesting target today. So this was a person target. You guys were remote viewing Alois Erlmeyer uh, from Germany uh, during his active years from 1921 to 1959. So Alois Erlmeyer was like the German Edgar Cayce. Um, he was a well digger and a dowser and he got uh, famous because he made a lot of predictions and uh, saw things really clearly and he was very accurate. Your sub cues were to describe his uh, life during his uh, active years, 1921 to 1959. This is just a little background on him. So Alois Selmar, born June 8th, 19, or 1894 in the town of, uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, <laughs> but he died in uh, July of 20, 26th of 1959. He worked as a water well digger and got a good reputation as a uh, Robin Mott wizard and clairvoyant. During World War II, Alois Erlmeyer was known for predicting bomb impact points. So he would actually go through and he would tell people which houses and buildings were, were going to be hit by bombs during World War II. So uh, yeah, he was your best friend. He also assisted in finding corpses and identifying culprits in various crimes. Amid his numerous visions, Erlmeyer mentioned a potential third world war in the near future. In 1947, he faced legal charges for allegedly practicing clairvoyance for profit, but was ultimately acquitted due to numerous witnesses testifying to his goodwill and remarkable abilities. He actually didn't charge for his readings. And I think during that court case, he even told the judge about his wife having an affair, uh, which helped the judge to see things his way. Yeah, really interesting guy here. Before I go into the feedback, though, I want to have you guys go through your sessions and uh, walk us through what you got. So I had an ambitious, cautious male who was over 40, uh, very confident, had a politician feel, but yeah, he definitely wasn't a politician. He was a smooth talker, very confident in leading conversations and very likable. Right off the bat, I got like this uh, impression of a guy handing something off, wearing some silly looking hat. And then again, a whole bunch of people like with their hands up that just seemed to be like the reoccurring theme through this. Uh, shielding eyes from light with hands, way more than firework. And I, I saw very clearly a woman covering a young child as if like trying to protect it or coddle it in some way. Some of the narrative was created by others without this character's consent. He is swept along by this. It is a source of sadness, the feeling of loss of control of his own destiny. This person is not even fully aware of his own story that has been created about him. The majority of what I was getting was his dowsing and finding people and uh, that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, which is pretty, pretty interesting. So it started off here was the sensation of something moving across the land or whatever here and kind of an X marks the spot here and something moving and there was somebody in motion and they're moving and all this kind of stuff. The notion here is that someone is in the process of going from here to there, not sure of when or the timeline yet, only that a movement took place at some point. I'm getting stabbed at like a very close range. Um, I see the knife kind of go in there murder sinister so you know i was thinking i'm like they didn't give us a murder case uh but you know that's what i got there but interestingly one of the first things that comes up when i i never heard of this guy but i search him it says his prophecy on the third world war is that it'll begin when a migrant is stabbed so i thought that was that was kind of interesting <laughs> oh, wow. maybe that's maybe maybe it lines up with that I mean, I guess we'll we'll get to see in our lifetime possibly. 